he wanted to do something that that nobody else ever thought that he would do and that is uh leave jacksonville leave leave the city and uh graduate from notre dame now at 11 new information coming to light after a former Reigns high school football standout was found dead when his car was pulled from a retention pond in jacksonville Louis Nix's girlfriend, who may have been one of the last people to hear from him, told police that she thought he may have been under the influence and on his way to see her, but he never showed up. Now, while it's still unclear what actually happened that night, on your side, Jocelyn Howard spoke with Nix's family, friends, and coaches who want to keep his legacy on top of everyone's minds. Just a guy from Jacksonville, Florida, north side of Jacksonville. Louis Nix, he was known by many names. Oh, Irish chocolate. Number one. <laughs> Irish chocolate, got it. But to his mother, Stephanie Wingfield. I called him Big Lou because he was my Big Lou. It was a special bond. My mom really wanted me to try out football. And that decision is what sent him to college across the country at the University of Notre Dame. And I stayed on Big Lou. And his first year at Notre Dame was his hardest. I went from hating this place to, you know, love it. And he became a fan favorite. They called him Irish Chocolate. He's a shotgun and he's telling people where to line up. Look Irish at him. Chocolate. Look at him. Formation no, for the Irish. Throwing. You're kidding me. Nix is in. <laughs> Keeper. Put it in the playbook. But even as an icon. You walk up and say hi to him. You say hi to Big Lou. He treated everyone like family. He would say hello back and he just made you feel special and like you had a relationship. One of his biggest accomplishments, proving people wrong. You know, in the hood, you know, you won't do much, you won't make it. And that's what a lot of people told me before I got here. I wouldn't make it and look at me now. Nix was drafted in the third round by the Houston Texans in 2014. He later went on to play for the New York Giants and spent time on the practice squads of Washington and the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2016. And he impacted a lot of people lives in a very positive way. I try my best to make people happy because I know they have a short time on this earth. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.